Let's see how we can share a calendar in Outlook 2019. And this also works with Office 365 when using the Outlook client. So we see that our calendar is set and we see the calendar itself here, but now we want to share it with Kate. So I'm going to click on where it says share calendar. There it is. So now I'm going to click on two and I'm going to choose Kate from the list and I'll click the option to send. But first, let's take a look at the different things that are in this subject, such as request permission to view recipient's calendar. So when you send this, you can request permission rather than just going ahead and sending it to them. So that way, if they don't know it's coming, then you have that option. We also have the uh, allow recipient to view your calendar, and that makes sure that that box is checked. Otherwise, you're not going to really share it. Under details, we see availability only, limited details, or full details. So if you want them to see everything, then you can click on full details. So I'm going to click on send because I want Kate to have full details to my calendar. Click yes, and now it's sent. Now I'm going to open up Kate's email and make sure that I can now view it. I'm in Kate's email in the web version of Outlook, just so you can see both kinds here. And I see the sharing invitation. I click accept. It's adding the calendar. So now when I go to calendars, we see that there's more than one calendar now. We see under people's calendars, we see my name as well as my calendar for Kate. So now let's go back to my calendar and we'll create an item here and just make sure it shows up in Kate's. So if I go to a future date and I click on do appointment and I'll just say meeting in conference room. Click save and we see it shows up in my calendar. Now we go back into Kate's calendar and look at that, it just popped up, meeting in conference room. If I go and uncheck my calendar, we should see it disappear, and it does. All right, now it looks a little bit different when we share it from the web version back to Outlook. So let's see what that looks like. We're going to share Kate's calendar back to me. And we'll say can edit. So we see a, a few different options here than we saw before. We say can view when I'm busy, can view titles and locations, can view all details, and it can edit. So basically can edit can do this as well as everything else. So I'll click that and click share. So let's go back into my email. There we go. And we'll click on calendar. And now we'll go to where it says Shared Calendars. I'm going to right-click on that and choose to Add Calendar. And I'll say From Address Book. And I'm going to choose Kate. Click OK. So now we see that Kate's calendar shows up as a separate calendar on the right-hand side. And we can see my calendar is blue and hers is green. You can certainly change that if you want as well. You can change the colors around. And if we go to the fourth there's my original appointment. There we go. Let's go back into Kate's calendar and create a new appointment by clicking on New Event. There it is. And we'll say Meeting in Conference Room 2. And we'll make sure that we have the right date and time and we'll click Save. There we go. So both of these are showing up in the web version right next to each other, even though they're two different calendars. One shows up in green and the other shows up in blue. Green is for the other person. We'll minimize that, go into Outlook, and now we see that appointment showing up in green as a separate calendar on the right-hand side and blue on the left-hand side. So that's how you share calendars in Outlook 2019 as well as Outlook on the web and using Office 365.